everyone, fellow artists, thanks for coming through. We're going to do a quick tutorial today. A few years back, I painted this painting, this portrait of Jimi Hendrix. This is acrylic paint on cardboard, and quite a few people asked me how I did the smoke. So today we're going to do a quick tutorial just on the smoke. Let's get started. Okay, so we've got our canvas. This is just a cardboard. It's the same thing actually that I used to paint my original Jimi Hendrix that I had shown you earlier. And we've got our black paint, as well as our raw sienna color that we're gonna to use today for the skin. This isn't the actual color that I used for the skin on my original, but just for the purpose of this tutorial, we're gonna use this color. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start with the black. Okay, so now we've quickly done Jimmy's face, the skin and the black. We're just gonna let this dry and then we'll start applying the smoke. Okay, so now our painting is dry enough so that we can do the smoke. So we've got the white paint that we're gonna use here, white paint. Just gonna add some to my palette. And I've also got a new brush. We're gonna take a fresh brush because we want the brush a little bit more dry for this. We're not gonna be painting heavily the way that we did with the black or the skin color. So we really just want a little bit of the brush. We really want it just to go on really lightly. So we'll start here at the mouth. So you're barely seeing anything here, so we need a little bit more. really really lightly so that it has a sort of see-through look to it and that's honestly the basic idea of doing the smoke waiting until what's underneath is dry first quite dry and then coming on top with white very, very lightly. And if we find it's coming in too heavily, you just wet the brush and take some off. And so once again, just dip it in the white, take some off so that it comes off or comes onto the painting rather very, very lightly in this sort of way so that what you have is a semi-transparent look. Just one more before we speed it up. Otherwise, we'll be here kind of long. All right, so 
You get the basic idea there, right? So we're going to speed it up now. And there we have it, fellow artists, we have added the smoke. So again, when you do it yourself, you want to wait until the paint underneath is very dry first and then add the white very lightly, very softly so that it is see-through, almost see-through and has a semi-translucent look. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, we did it really quickly, but when you do it yourself, you wanna take your time because you cannot rush the art. We cannot rush our masterpieces. Thanks for tuning in.